thing you don't want to be doing is working too hard when you're out there sawing. Saw this to my beard. Uh, it's already hard enough work. You don't want to make it even more. And a dull saw will make it work big time. It uh, if you're having to push your saw through the wood, it's dull. Get it sharpened. Uh, there's several ways to sharpen your saw. I've gone through all of them. I've had just a straight up round file without this attachment. I've had the electronic doohickey. You clamp it onto your truck battery and zzz, that works good until you're constantly having to buy those little uh, it's pretty much like a little uh, die grinder or uh, oh I can't think of it right now but anyway it spins around 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 and uh, you sharpen your blades with it and I took it to people had them sharpen them and that cost around five bucks for someone to take it and you gotta take your chain off and all that so the best thing I've found so far is this this little is just a round file, five thirty seconds round file, with a, just a little gauge on it. Simple to use, and man, it does a really good job. And you know your chainsaw sharp whenever you're having to pull it out of the wood because it's wanting to dig. And to and check your shavings. It's just like a drill bit. If you're shaving, if you got big chunks of shavings coming out, that saw is sharp and it's eating good. If you're making sawdust, that's a dull chain. You're working too hard. Stop and sharpen that sucker. And if uh, you're sawing and that blade turns left or right, if you're like me, you're right-handed or left-handed, without this little gauge on there, you can tend to sharpen one side sharper than the other. And that's going to cause that. So this little gauge is pretty nice. Don't ever backtrack through there either. It's got these lines on this 30 degree, that's what I use. You just line that line up with your bar, and take a stroke. And it doesn't take but a couple. And just move right on to the next. And the blade rides, the tooth rides underneath there so it keeps all of them the same. And that's what you want. Hey, I hope this these videos are going to help you guys, uh, especially when you're if you're getting out and starting to cut your own wood, saving money. Uh, like I said, eye protection. I need to get that on. Be careful. Always looking up. You look at that tree. If it takes you 30 minutes to figure out where it's going to fall, take the time. Look at that tree. You got to tell the wind takes an effect. The number of limbs take an effect how big the limbs are and how far they reach take an effect the trunk takes an effect there's just so much to calculate when it comes to knocking down a tree that it's unbelievable and then it just takes years of experience and you'll still get surprised by them every now and then every now and then you'll still get one that throws you for a loop so if you're operating a saw please be careful, learn from somebody that's a seasoned operator of a chainsaw, uh, go out with them, watch what they're doing, listen to them, and just, especially if it's an older person who's been doing it for a while, who's got a lot of seasons of cutting wood under their belt, you know, just take the time to enjoy the woods, take out some trees that need to be taken out, dead standing, and learn a pretty good trade, I mean, I mean, I guess it ain't really a trade, but just learn something that is pretty valuable when it comes to self-sufficiency. You know, burning wood is the way to go, and you just got to be careful.